Hi, my name is Minor Escobar. I'm the president of Tri-City Patients Association, and thank you for joining us. Uh, during the month of uh, January and February, we're going to be putting together several videos for your viewing pleasure. Now, these videos are going to be uh, aiding you in um, a lot of the things that sometimes you wonder, how do you do this, how do you do that? And then hopefully these videos will be answering those questions. Uh, for example, how to roll a joint, how to use a vaporizer, um, how to uh, uh, take the right uh, weight measurements when you buy a scale, and what to look when you actually buy a product uh, from us or other collectives. Uh, first of all, let me explain you what doctors are saying about vaporizers. First of all, this definitely will reduce uh, cancer, especially if you're smoking or rolling joints uh, with cannabis. Uh, this is highly recommended by uh, the uh, medicine industry. Uh, and I highly recommend you, we carry them here at Tri-City and we have reasonable prices on them. Uh, secondly, um, what you need to do is you need to figure out exactly what type or what size of vaporizer will be ideal for you. Uh, if you're a smoker that has been smoking for the past anywhere from 5 to 10 years, then you probably need something a little bigger. Uh, these ones are the, usually the average size that actually deals with smokers that I've been dealing from probably a year to five years now. Uh, so you notice they're kind of small, but if you want something bigger, then you can graduate to a uh, volcano, which the volcanoes are always highly recommended. Um, now, you will always find, find a uh, glass piece like this. This is as long as it is. Now inside the glass piece, you will find a filter. Is usually either gold or silver filter and then uh, secondly you will see a uh, filter right in the tip of the vaporizer now what you do there is you put your 0.5 grams or up to a gram inside you put it this way but before you do that you make sure also that you connect the hose now how do you connect the hose properly if you try to stuck it in like that you're gonna break the glass so what you need to do is you need to push it a little bit up like that and that way the hose goes, goes in right very, very easily. Now once you have that in there and you have your product inside, then you connect it in here. As you notice right there, you already have a connection in there. The second thing is to start the, the vaporizer very low. This goes from 0 to 350 very rapidly. Now. Don't make the mistake to go right away into 350, otherwise you're going to be breaking the glass. Um, so my suggestion or my recommendation would be for you to start at anywhere between 200 to maybe even 250, but I would highly recommend you to be in the safe to be at 200. Once you leave it there for about anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes, then you're ready to uh, use it. At that moment, if you need to increase the amount of vapor, because that's all you're going to see here, you're not going to see any white smoke, you're not going to see any black smoke or anything like that. Everything that goes in here is vapor. So therefore, you won't be able to see it, but you will be able to feel it. Okay. Uh, once you want to increase your dosage, then you start inhaling, or you just, one thing that I do is just leave your piece, your mouthpiece inside your mouth and just let it rest. Let the machine do the rest. Okay. Uh, don't puff, don't try to inhale too much right away because this is not a cigarette. So you just let the vapor do its thing. Again, if you want to increase the dosage, the dosage, then you go a little bit higher. But I highly recommend you just to keep it between 250 and 300. Um, otherwise it will get too hot and then it's going to dry up your, uh, your product right away. Now. To turn it off, once you're finished and inhaling, probably will last you anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, once you're finished and you want to replace or put a little more medicine into it, all you do is put it right back to zero. Uh, now at that point, uh, use also uh, either a piece of clothing or a napkin to remove this because keep in mind it's going to be warm and, uh, and most likely it's going to be hot. So once you remove it, your product now will be probably most likely dark and all the moisture will be taken out. So all you gotta do, like Asha, is just take it out, put the new product in, and then start the process one more time. As you can see now, to clean it, once you're finished using it, definitely put it right, before you remove it, put it right back to zero, okay? Let it cool off, 
I would say for about five minutes. Once five minutes have gone by, then remove it with the napkin, clean it up. If you have a little toothbrush, just kind of clean the inside and everything and so you can stick the toothbrush in there and clean it in. You can also replace the um, the uh, the filter. You can buy a new filter. Is it the same filter that they sell at any collective? And then um, you clean with an alcohol. You clean this this area here uh, with a little cotton and alcohol in there, and that way you sanitize it. And then you just and to clean the hose in here. As you notice, it's actually just vapor inside. So all you got to do is just let it dry. So just put it straight like that. Let the air do its thing and clean it up. Just put a little bit of alcohol in each tip and that should do it. Also, just make sure be, uh, with the mouthpiece, just use alcohol and clean the mouthpiece at the same time. And that's all it takes. Uh, like I said, it's very easy to use, but I want you to make sure that this parting or this area here does not break because this is what is either going to make it or it's going to break it. So um, uh, if you guys have any questions, we're here to help you. And thank you again for joining us.